Okay, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're just going to kind of walk through the builder portal and talk about doing checklist items. So these are some prep videos that you can look at on this side here, prep videos. Um, this is the dashboard where eventually there will be more information. And then this is how you make a payment. Um, there's a couple things you can do. You can do some of these automatic things or put in an amount that you'd like to pay. Once you've got an amount in and you hit pay now, it will check you out with that amount. So just throw in your card information with the account you want to pay with and you can check out. Um, okay, I'm going to go back to this checklist really quick um, and go to some of these checklist items. So I'm going to start with the builder packet. Um, you can download this, print it off, whatever you want to do, or just read it in here as well. Um, but this has all the information you need to know about your trip. Um, and so you want to make sure that you read it thoroughly. We're so passionate that we want you to read it thoroughly that we're going to have a secret word in here. As you read, look for that secret word and then make sure to enter your name exactly as written um, in order to check out. If you go to the parent at home stuff, um, there's a couple important links with blog posts that are really helpful to look through talking about things like how we keep everyone safe on trips, um, some tips from us on how to prepare for a trip, and also some of the details on how you'll communicate with your builder while they are on their trip. So those are helpful. Um, this parent home packet is different than the um, builder packet, even though they look similar. So again, make sure that you're reading closely, um, that you're typing your name as it appears if it's a little bit hard, um, you may need to add double space in between. Okay, now we're going to move on to the notarized authorization. This blog post talks a little bit about some of our tips, um, where you could potentially get a document notarized, um, who needs to be there, which types of forms you should be filling out based on how old you're going to be on your trip, um, and more information on what you're agreeing to. So, I'm going to go ahead and download this form. What you would do is fill it out, take it to a notary, and then re-upload it. But I've just got um, a fake one that I've created here. So I'll go ahead and upload that. I'm going to click here to upload the notarized document. And then hit that PDF. Um, this should be able to be a PDF, PNG, or JPEG file. I'm going to go ahead, wait for that to submit, and then it is going to be, currently I think it appears as pending, but in the future it will just show submitted. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do my passport. Um, I'm going to pull up my fake passport for Wednesday, um, throw in all this information. We use these to book flights, so make sure that you've got the correct information, and then what we're looking for is the bio page of that passport. Um, while we're here, we can look through a letter from our CEO. Um, you can look at your builder information, make sure that things are all looking right. If there's anything you need to change that you can't change, you can contact us so we can help you out with that. Um, yeah, and now we're 8% done with the checklist. So that's pretty much the rundown. If you've got any other questions, let us know and checklist items will continue to come out as we get closer to trips this summer.